Hello, now we are going to explore and discuss the sketch environment. The part we see in the screen is called bearing block. We are going to start by creating a new part. So, I'm selecting new, then I select part, and then OK. And you would expect it takes us into a blank screen, but we are in part environment. If you notice, we have a sketch tab with the sketch tools. Now, before we start a sketch, we must go into either a new sketch or an existing sketch. To create a new sketch, we go to the far left of the sketch ribbon and notice we have a draw down arrow which gives us the option to a 2D sketch or a 3D sketch. I would recommend against you using 3D sketches at least until you get to the enough experience. So I'm going to select the 2D sketch. And as soon as I do that, the property manager opens to tell me to select a plan to which to create the sketch. Now, you do put some thought into this. Based on your model, it takes more sense to create your sketch in the front, top, or right plane. That is the thing that you need to decide. When I select the front plane, I want you to watch the screen and you will see that front plane will revolve normal to your line of sight. Notice how it revolves normal to your line of sight. Now, when you do that in your screen, if your plan doesn't revolve, that because you don't have this option, turn it on in your options dialog box. So, how we do that? We go to the top of the screen and we select options. Under the system options tab, you want to go down to the sketch and put a shape mark in front of auto rotate normals to sketch plan on sketch creation. Then it will rotate every time you create a sketch. Now we are in sketch mode and how do I know that? So the bottom of the screen says edit and sketch. That means I can create lines, arcs, and circles. So when we have added a few pieces of geometry, if you want to keep this sketch, you will select this icon here and this to close out of the sketch and save it in your feature manager tree. However, you want to cancel the sketch you did and not save it, you would select the red X. I'm saving it and notice it appears in the feature manager tree. Now, let's go back to the other model. Now, notice in this model, I'm not in the sketch currently and in the bottom of the screen, it says editing part. However, if I start a new sketch, for example, in this face, it then says edit and sketch. So, in the part environment, you can either be in the part editing mode or edit and sketch mode. Now, if we take a look at the, this feature manager tree, you can open this model and explore all the sketches that we have used to create the 3D model. In fact, when you highlight the sketch, you can select it as sketch and see the line work we used to create this sketch. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to support me with like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.